Hello? Hi. Hello? There we go. Okay, I think everything is working. Hello, macaroni. Hmm, okay. Load complete. It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dis dishes. Hmm. I guess we'll just go to bed. It's raining tonight, something may appear on television. You should go back to your room and check the television. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Nice Persona 3 calendar in the background. In I other Eniva that. related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Eniva area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the midnight channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Well, I feel so much safer now. It seems like you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, Enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Obtained Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one price for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, mm -hmm. it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as 
a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. I still don't get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. See you later. I'm glad to hear you're doing okay. Uh, see you lady on it? Very nice. Sounds good, Macaroni. Yo! <laughs> I love the fake Addy does there. It's very good. <laughs> you saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was. But if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Oh no, not Teddy. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? I want to keep my word, too. Totally. A promise is a promise. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. What? I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's right. He can do that too. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Maybe. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. I did think about picking that dialogue choice, but I didn't. I don't think the get dialogue choices seem to matter that much, at least in these early conversations. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe it's a bigger deal later on. It seems like I've gotten a few little bonuses for saying a certain thing, so... But I don't know how important that is in the long run. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. That's what I felt uh, when I met Macaroni. I just felt this like very faint stirring in, in the background. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings me closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed blessed when creating personas of the magician arcana. But it's a Friday night, Macaroni, come on. Be mad for once in your life. Crack open a bottle of wine and have fun. No, don't do that. As you form a bond of Yosuke, you feel the power of your heart strengthening. You record record you recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened 
through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. I wouldn't be very good at this in real life. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links? Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? <laughs> you have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcan. Did you know that ice cream it may be made from milk or cream and is flavored with a sweetener, either sugar or an alternative, and a spice, such as cocoa or vanilla, or with fruit such as strawberries or peaches. It can also be made by whisking a flavored cream base and liquid night. <laughs> the TTS just gave up on that after a while. But thank you very much, RT, for being subscribed for 22 days. Thank you so much. I hope you... <laughs> <laughs> I hope uh, you're doing well. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. That's good. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down to get back on their feet. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. 22 minutes, yeah, you're right. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. No way. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Email? I prefer the term e-post myself. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Maybe. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! Why are we in school on a Saturday, by the way? Is that how they do it in Japan? She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Um, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before too. 
at least once a year. <laughs> once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, you could go sign inside that place? <laughs> Sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. You explained to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I have to say that. She is pretty loud. Oh, oh, is this a game? Eddie. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> Very good. That is top shelf material right there. Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. Yeah, that's what What's it is. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. I love all the flip phones. They should make a comeback someday. They probably will. Maybe not as actual phones that people use, but just the have. Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Did they? 
I know. I would imagine it didn't work out too well for them. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic, and now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Welcome home. Um Yeah, I think I did at one point. Yeah, I did. Hmm, this answer is hard. Nanako was absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. Nothing catches my eye. It's raining through the night again. You should check the midnight channel tonight too. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Hello, Landlord John, how are you?
That was definitely you could go on the Midnight Channel just now. Yeah. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? It sounded very strange. She looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Calm down. Uh, okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, we need to get in touch with Yukiko-san first. Uh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Yeah, I'm doing fine, thank you. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. Well, it's not really that early, is it? Then it's the midnight channel. Different clothes. It seems that only Nanako is here. You're up early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. Oh, well, fair enough. He said he's gonna be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with y with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Hmm. You decided to go out. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Oh my goodness, can you put them away, please? We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Neither. Yeah, neither. Come on, don't be like that. I just know they'll come in handy. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. I don't think Adult Swim existed when I was a kid. Kinda like this? I think they did show some slightly more edgy stuff, though. Later on, at night. Or like this! What about this? Can you not get arrested for doing this, Shirley? <laughs> yes, I <yeah. laughs> Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Well, that's good. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean... No, 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 no. This, this is what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Oh, my goodness. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey! 
Did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Oh dear. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. Mm. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Banger. No, drugs. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you gonna be alright? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. 
I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Oh, all right. Okay, but stay behind us. Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? Sure. You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Receive 5,000 yen from Yosuke. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Have you come to see my art? Please, look around. Take your time. There is nothing to sell. If you want something special, bring me your own materials and I'll try to use them for you. I always like seeing new things and learning new techniques. So bring me some rare materials that I've never seen before. If you do, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and type of materials varies. If you bring the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine pieces of art for you. But what I make is up to me. I am the artist here after all. I'll be expecting some praise too. You want to sell the golf club? I mean, I guess. I don't know if I should just buy everything, but... to the t-shirt just in case. <laughs> it feels like they want you to buy stuff there. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. If you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining.
Hello. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Unfriendly looking girl, I recognize her. Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel like you've met her somewhere before. I'm just gonna not say anything, just play it cool. Excuse her, this is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I do remember you saying that, yes. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Oh no, the pressure's on. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Good night, Macaroni. Thank you very much for hanging out. And I hope you have a great sleep.
Did you come to look at it? Yo, my nice sans books too. This bookstore only sells books specially selected by the owner. It's a specialty bookstore. It carries a vastly different selection from what Junez has. It's fun to see what they carry next. Next shipment date is April 20th. So you should come look too. 420. None of the books grab your interest. Fair enough, Macaroni. Well, we don't need to go in there, because we were just in there. It's the Mari... Maru... Kayu Tofu shop. An old woman is tending the store. Hey! Did you hear about it too? Murder. Murder, I say. Even worse. A serial murder. I thought I could relax out here in the country, but this... I'm more tense than ever. Ah! What have you got to say? Ah, you're the boy Nana-chan was with. Maybe it's okay if it's you. Okay, I think I'll brag to you. I have a younger twin sister. We're lucky twins, isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Isn't it? We're the same in every way, and my sister's totally worth boasting about. That is a cool story, 40. You know what makes life easier? When I'm, when I'm taking walks or shopping, the sub menu button. With the press of the sub menu button, you can come and go as you please. Ah, the wonderful sub menu button. The ever present press me anytime sub menu button. Hmm, I know this is all kinds of weird, but please don't think too strangely of me. I like that. <gasps> Frog? Ah, welcome. Oh, I can buy medicine here. I only have two. But I don't have that much money. I can buy one. Well then, young man. Nice to meet you. You came from the city? Hmm. So you're in the middle of some hard times, eh? The store may be a bit sloppy, but please take your time to look around. Why, thank you. Maybe someday. Grim has a frog in it. What happens if I... okay. Just curious to see if you could go back already. Huh, what do you want? You're not from around here, are you? I'm busy with errands for my sister. Ah, if only this was a part-time job. But doing all this for no reward, I can't believe it. The notice says that starting the 23rd you can apply for a part-time job, but at my age, getting hired is impossible. There is a bulletin board. Samagawa Boju Misuzu Haraji. It's the same poster that was torn up inside the TV. No job openings at the moment. You recall you were supposed to meet up with Yosuke and Chie at the Junez food, food court? No time to waste here. Fine. Welcome, our food is freshly made and tastes incredibly great. What do you want to buy? Ah, uh, nothing. Just having a look around. Hey, did you know? There's been rumours forever about those things appearing at the shrine. What am I talking about? You know, those things. I've never seen one, so I don't believe in it in the slightest. This place is a playground for kids during the day, so you might not know how different it feels here at night. I tell you, it's scary. 
can't even take one step inside if you don't have the courage. The murdered Yamano announcer was... She had an affair with her councilman secondary, right? It seems like a scene out of a drama. It doesn't seem real. Catching bugs makes me thirsty. I really want some tap soda, but I spent all my allowance. Oh well, I'll just drink water. What do you want to play today, Shota? Shota? I want to play princesses. What? I want to catch bugs. Weak-willed boy. My friend said a bunch of different bugs live in the trees around here. No, you're going to play with me. You can catch bu bugs when it's dark. But my mum says, I can't go outside at night, so... It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but it, there's nothing inside. This looks like the shrine's main building. You have no business here. Did you hear about the incident too? It's so scary, isn't it? It's horrible. Ever since I got married and moved out to the country, I thought it'd be safer way out here, you know? I have to start locking the doors at night. I'll have to tell my neighbours next door to do the same. Did you hear, youngster? There was a murder. A murder? It's absolutely deplorable. I've lived here for 80 years and I would never would have thought something like this would happen in this time. This is an insult to my beloved town and all the honest people who live here. Utterly deplorable. The sign says Ichikawa Electronics, but the shutters are closed. There's no notice that Raid's going out of business still. So. It's a store, but the shutters are closed. It's a liquor store. Cases of various alcohols are stacked on top of each other. Alcohols? Is that a proper use of the English language? I'm not sure about that. Everybody knows about the murder, don't they? It's all I ever hear. Murder this, murder that. Did you see those pictures of Mayumi Yamano's corpse? You know, the news announcer. It was on Tuesday the 12th. He was found hanging on an antenna on a house near the river in Inaba, this very time. The next victim was from a nearby school. If memory serves, it was Yasugami High. No, I don't know the victim, I just know what I saw on the news. I'm just an elementary school teacher. The kids I teach know more about society than I do. Sounds about right. A motorcycle is the embodiment of a high schooler's youth. A kid who has a bike is in control of the best days of his life. With a motorcycle you can sip through Inaba in your youth. That's why I'm going to become the motorcycle racing king of Inaba. Well, if I ever get one. Right now it's more of, an, a, concept, more of a conceptual title. Let's go to Juness. You really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? from last time what are you doing can't you tell I'm thinking about stuff it seems he's been thinking about himself all this time 
I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Right. Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. Does Chie not need to wear the special glasses to see what's going on? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. Toot toot. Yeah, hello Fred Gant. Thank you very much for being subscribed for 22 minutes. Thank you so much. How do you do? It is always marvellous to see Fred Star in the chat. <laughs> they flew by, I know. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. This world has been like this from the beginning. How do you know? Were you here in the beginning, Teddy? Teddy Bear? Tired Teddy? From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder... Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So... Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey! Do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. She ran off on her own. Erk. There are lots of shadows in the castle. It'll be dangerous inside it for a girl by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find Chie. We 
We should catch up to your quick sensei. Ah, that's right. Here, take this. Ooh, a revival bean. Oh, and this too. I gathered these all. Uh, I gathered all of these myself. I'll give them to you, Sensei. <clears throat> well, thank you for all this stuff. Well, uh, off you go. Well, this is bad, monster. We better hurry after Chia. Be careful. I'll try. He hasn't gone that far yet. Ah, oh, she ran off all alone. Damn it, let's go. Hmm, wait a second. The shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. So try to get a jump on shadows before they can attack you. Press the action button to attack. Try and land the attack so that the shadow does not make the first move on you. A is the attack button. Well, I did not land the attack. I failed. Two enemies! They caught you off guard! Persona! Someone else's turn. Persona! You hit its weakness! Smart nice. move, Sensei! Good work, Sensei! That's one so far! Shuffle time. You see mysterious cards before your eyes. You recall what Igor told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When enemies are defeated, a shuffle time may occur and a number of cards will appear in your mind. These cards have various effects, but drawing a Persona card will allow you to obtain a Persona. The obtained Personas can be used in battle, or they can be fused in the Velvet Room to give birth to new Personas. In most cases, you'll only be able to draw one card. Select the card that you need depending on your situation. Enemies won't notice you changing floors or once the next battle ends. Triggering one more during battles and defeating all enemies with an all-out attack makes shuffle time occur more. Okay. Use this knowledge to defeat enemies in a way that gains the maximum amount of rewards. The card of the Persona, Pixie. You have welcomed Pixie into your heart. You felt the surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Your HP and SP have increased. You're now able to create personas up to level 4. Something inside of you has changed. Izagnage has leveled up. Trank has increased by 1. Ma. Uh, is that magic? I guess. Has increased by 1. Endurance increased by 1. Izanagi learned Rakunda. Oh. Oh. Treasure, ahoy! Oh, this is inverted for some reason. It's like an old uh, PlayStation 2 game. Well, this was a PlayStation 2 game originally. Obtained one peach seed. I changed that. I would prefer that if I could change that.
Hold up. See, this is better. This is more like it. This feels like an actual computer game. Though. It's weird how they call this inverted, even though this is like not inverted. This is press the right stick left to make it go left. I messed that up again. I'm not very good at this, am I? What if he ambushed you? Hang in there! Counting on you! It's down! Let's go, partner! Sure. Alright! Out of our way! Well, I didn't do much there. I'm tempted with money increased. Well, ooh, who has the lovely slime here? <laughs> that looks like me when I wake up every morning. Sensei, are you okay? Your health's low. Ah, it's fine. We've got a life stone, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Can I use items here? Yeah, it seems like it. Beautiful? Yeah. Definitely. Ooh. That's actually not very good, is it? Or is that... No, maybe that is good. Idea paper. I actually hit them first for a change. There's one enemy. Smash it. Now's our chance. You ready? Sure. I, I mean, is this bad? Right. Should I do this? I feel like it's not always the best idea. It's weak to win. Sounds easy. One enemy. Fight, fight, fight. I don't think I have any wind attacks, though. I guess this is a wind, but I can't. Oh, I can. But it's, these aren't really what I want, are they? And I've already changed, so I've wasted that, really. I'm still learning. Let's just try and attack. This is the first like proper dungeon, so like you've this is like we've done like two fights before this, but this is like the first like sort of sustained combat sequence I would say. What we've done so far is like the basic tutorial, this is sort of like the first actual chunk of thing video game. Got some idea paper. Maybe you should get some of that so that you have Are a better right, idea. Yosuke? Of what's You're going hurt. on? There's one enemy. Smash it. Oh, Yosuke is not doing well whatsoever. Show him who's boss. Yeah, bug rule would be fine. Good answer. Out of our way. Uh, 
Um. The heart. No, no, no. The card of the hanged man or can. Pixie's endurance has increased by one. Another level for me! Yosuke's persona, Jiraja, has leveled up. AST has increased, EN has increased, and AG has increased. So I would imagine the stars are probably where we need to go, but we'll check this out first. A soul drop. Splendid. Hmm. You're good at fighting, Sensei. I'm not really. Compared to you, Yosuke stinks. Shut up, Ted. Oh, I do gotta admit, you have a knack for this stuff. Doesn't he? So you should be one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. You can give orders to your allies during combat with the tactics command. You can give your allies new orders on the field by pressing the sub menu button. It takes me off to hear Teddy say that stuff. I don't want to cause trouble doing my own thing in battle. So don't hesitate to order me around. I'm counting on you. There she is. Ga Chan is in there. Open the door. Sure. Chie, are you all right? Chie. She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. In Informer? Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still... Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. <laughs> you reckon so, friend? Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so, so kind, kind huh? huh? What a joke! What?! Oh my goodness. Oh man, is that...? It's just like Yosuke! She lost control over her suppressed self! Now it's a shadow! Are, Are we, we talking, talking about, about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she says I'm protecting her? her? She says she's worthless! <laughs> That's how it should be, right? What are you saying? Yukiko, so good looking, so fair skinned, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at me with such jealousy, man, did I get a charge out of that. Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No! I've, I've never thought that! What are we gonna do? We need to protect Chie. We need to protect Chie-chan right now. That's what I said, Teddy. No! Don't come near me! Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. 
Wait, stupid! Don't say anything else like that! <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But you, Kiko, she depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're just, just going, going to turn, turn your back and deny me again? again? But things are different now. When, when the time, time comes, I'll be the one left standing. standing. You won't mind, right? I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Jin, no! You're not... <laughs> what on earth am I looking at? Looks like a happy banana at the top. Chie! It's coming! You have to use your powers to save Chie chan! Yeah, I'm very confused by this uh, monster design. I am a shadow, the true self. What do you guys think you're doing? Trying to defend the real me? Then you're gonna pay the price. Shut up! Quit being such a pain. Gee, just hang in there a little longer. Huh. Think, Think you, you can, can stop, stop me, me that easy? easy? Hmm. I need a switch. <laughs> We'll try the electric. Let's go, partner. Good answer. Guess we can try that. Pretty intense. We could try cleave, maybe. No, that wasn't very good. Who do they think they are? Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. This is too complicated for me. All right, partner. Okay, leave it to me. Um. Yeah, no, none of these are really working out at the moment. At least that does okay damage. Even though you probably shouldn't heal yourself. Like, I don't know if this is worth going for or not. Yeah, I mean, it did a bit more damage. Okay. You might want to defend yourself. Let's revive. That's not good. Ah, it's fine. We're getting there. One more turn, maybe?
Mm. It's a bit sketchy. Mm. Should we risk it? Let's. Mm. I'm pissed now. You felt the surge of energy. You did it, Sensei. I did it. You're now able to create personas at the level five. All right, I leveled up. Your case, persona has leveled up. We got there in the end. Chie, uh, are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. B but you're more than that thing. B but I. He's right. I went through the same thing, so I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kind of get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive, that I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Chie has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade she overcomes life's hardships. The persona, the mo, mo. Uh, I, um, it's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Uh huh? Hey, what should we do? Let's go back. I would want that, huh? I agree. We need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? I... I uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. 
Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... They were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But... but I can't turn back now! We've come so far! Yukiko's still here! She's all alone! She must be so scared! Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. I, uh... I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? It's thanks to these. I don't know what that means, but let's let's pick it. That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh uh, that yeah. I did mention that earlier. Oh yeah. What's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tum ta dum! I got a pair ready for Chie Chan, too. Here you go! Whoa! What the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sad and, I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it all right if I keep these? Faux show. Sure. We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san, right? I agree. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Let's save Yukiko. Alright. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey. Would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Okay, we're counting on you. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I hope you have plenty of idea paper. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. You've been unanimously appointed team leader. Your days of pursuing this, this case alongside your friends has begun. That's a dog smelling a man's bum. Avara, I and I am Fao. Fao has established a new bond. It brings thee closer to truth. Fao shall be blessed when creating personas of the full arcana.
You have established the investigation team social link with of the, the Fool Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Fool Arcana. Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. Sure. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. After a few days of rain, fog may set in. Keep an eye on the weather while continuing to explore the TV world. Exploring the TV world will use up your after school or afternoon time. It's very complicated, isn't it? You decide to return to Juness and go back home. The three of you are having dinner. The news is on television. That's all for world news tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Dojima is quiet with a stern expression on his face. Da, da, hey, da, da. Mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Of course not. I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? Yes, we're fighting. No, we're... We're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? Fine. And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Cause when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. The news continues. Heedless of the heavy atmosphere. Don't fight. Sorry. Nod. You asked Nanako for permission and changed the channel to the forecast. Oh, okay. So tomorrow's gonna be quite sunny. Tuesday's gonna be a bit of a mixture. Wednesday will be cloudy. Rainy on Thursday. Sorry about that. I killed the mood, didn't I? You sure did. Wow. No, it's not too bad. Well, it's nearly, nearly an hour since my last save. That would be pretty bad if I lost that. Nanako calling you from downstairs. The phone. <clears throat> it's me, Moruka. I have something that I've prepared just for you. I was going to deliver it to your house, but the situation's changed. I need you to come pick it up. Er, where am I? I was getting to that. <clears throat> I'm in the front of the gas station at the shopping district. You got that? Now hurry up and come pick it up. Hmm. Mori Morioka has summoned you. Where do you think you're going? 
Listen, I'll only say this once, so listen close. Maybe it's normal for kids like you to be goofing around outside at night at, uh, back in the big city. But this isn't the city, it's the countryside, and your mother trusts me to keep you safe. You're not a kid anymore, so I have to trust you when you're out of my sight. But I just can't let you run around at night, you get me? So that's it, don't go wandering around at night if you don't have any reason to go out, alright? You can feel Dojima exerting his authoritative influence on you. You should give up on going out tonight. What about... Can I sneak out the, my window? Oh, upstairs? Well, that's not an option. Who called you just now? Don't tell me you're planning on going out at this hour. My homeroom teacher needs to see me. Your homeroom teacher wants to see you? You just transferred here and you're already done something? No, this is what, what you were talking about. Well, I understand. Go take care of business and hurry back home. There we go. Sorted. Puzzle sorted. Where will you go? Shopping district. Oh, you're here sooner than I expected. If I picked the wrong place, I'm sure he would tell me off for being slow. This is the school jersey I got for you. Go on, take it. You've obtained a Yasso High jersey. There are many different costumes in this game to acquire. If you want on from the equip menu, you can walk through the dungeon in that costume. Now that you've got it, get the hell out of here. I need to get to see this girl at home. You know the way to your own house, don't you? Guess we have to exit this way. Is it worth going in the here? No, it is not. What's up at the pub? Far from the frog. I turned my store into a nightclub once normal business hours are over. Have I met you before during the day? Well, that doesn't matter. This is a nocturnal oasis where adults can escape their da daily lives and gather in the search of a moment of a moment of peace. And I am a butterfly of the night, adorned with gems who flutters down to bask in the oasis glow. Everything you see in here is only a dream. It is a no-no to drag what happens here into the light of day, remember that. And now I'm sure you understand that this is a no place for a child like you. Time for you to go home. He brushed you off. It seems that the hostess will pay you no attention unless you have something that catches her interest. Blore. I do like the frog though. Isn't the frog lovely? Are you still here? I'm not going to serve you anything, no matter how much you look at me with those eyes. Hmm, why are you making that face? Everyone has countless numbers of faces. This is the face I wear during the night. I don't want to hear anything about my other faces. The same goes for any other me, you may, f but you may encounter at a different time. So, I wonder if there's any handsome man out there who would supply me with gems. It is an excellent frog. Hmm. 
So I guess we only see that later. It's a beverage vending machine with a roulette game. However, all the drinks are sold out. Ooh. What's at the riverbank? A dog? The dog is digging at the ground with a single-minded determination that is admirable. Where will you go? Back home. You finish your business, return home. Yes. You're back. You're home, so what was it? Huh? You were even a school jersey, that's it? He'd have just given you that at school. Well, I'm sure telling you it isn't helping. School's tough enough as it is. With these incidents going on, everyone's on edge. You're tired from everything that happened today. You should return to your room and rest. I agree. I wonder how Chia is doing. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. Did you sleep well? Yep. I was out cold until this morning. Uh -huh. Um, thanks for everything yesterday. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? You two were right there to see my hidden feelings and all. Don't sweat it. The same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh, how, how should I put this? Oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Hmm. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? Oh, so nothing happened for you? I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. Um... <laughs> Falling for me, huh? Uh, do you want me to bear it all? What? Hey, whoa, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Marley? Don't do it! He'll get arrested again! Everyone's taking that little way. Anyways, what's most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. I'm dead set on coming. Remember, you promised. Oh crap, I still haven't gone to the bathroom. Hey, um, thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but... There really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. You're very much mistaken. You sense Chie's gratitude to you. You'll have faint bond forming between you and Chie. You have established the Chie Satonaka social link of the Chariot Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Chariot Arcana. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. Chie can now wake up and knock down ally during battle. 
You haven't yet asked Chia for her contact information. Ask her straight out. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough courage. Oh. It's for the investigation. Oh, right. You'll need this from now on, huh? You exchange cell numbers with Chia. We have to be careful of the fog that sets in after the rain, right? Let's save her before that happens. After the rain continues for a while, it may become foggy. You must train yourself as much as possible until then. You should go to the Gina's food court on days when you want to explore the overworld. After a prolonged period of rain, it may become foggy in town. If you don't rescue someone who's disappeared before the day, uh, for the day it fogs over, the game will end. Keeping an eye on the weather report will, while improving your personas and equipment to prepare for a rescue attempt. It's very complicated, this, isn't it? Mr. Kondo? Hello, and good afternoon, all. My name is Mr. Kondo, your PE teacher. But since no one at the school teaches English, I'll be doubling up my roles. And don't be so disappointed. In fact, I've spent some time overseas. One week of vacation time, to be exact. But that's more than enough to teach a class, ha ha ha. But I'll start with the basics of the bit. Uh, start off the basics of the basics, the English alphabet. Starts with the letter A, then B, and then C, and then 23 more. Maybe that was a little too basic, ha ha ha. Alright, I'll give you an alphabet related pop quiz. Then let's see, C? The word alphabet comes from the words alpha and what other one? I'm gonna say beta. You give the answer you think is correct. Good, that's correct. Feels amazing, man. It comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. Beta. By the way, any set of Western European characters in a specific order is called an alphabet. In Japan, when we say alphabet, we're talking about the English alphabet, but it doesn't always mean the English one. You have the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Excellent schooling, my lad. Classes have ended for today. Folk will come, come after several days of rain. You must prepare to take action. During today, you may spend your time up to school however you wish. You may visit uh, facilities in town or in school. But remember to enter the TV before the fog sets in the risk you defect with. You may enter the TV from the food court in Junas. Make sure that you have prepared by purchasing equipment to ready yourself for entering the TV to rescue people. You may press the sub menu button to travel between locations. You can connect to the network to see what other players have done on the same day and time within the game. If you'd like to use this function, press the voice button. I don't know what the voice button is, but. Oh, this is it? No, it's not. So this is a sub menu, and I can fast travel from there. Hello, Dark One Thirty Two. You can use the bumpers to spin the camera around. That's weird. Oh, you can use the D-pad to move around. Oh, of course, bro. Let's see. Yo! Wanna head over to Teddy's? Yosuke looks worried. Will you go save Yukiko? Not right now. If you agree to enter TV, you will summon everyone else to meet them at the food court. Once you've met them at the food court, you'll be unable to invite them to do anything else that day. 
Uh, we'll go literal. Yep. Darstar. The game has been good. I hope you're doing well. Dark one. And yeah, I'm doing fine, thank you. Did you hear? Anishi Senpai appeared on the Midnight Channel. Hmm, why does everyone talk about scary things like that? Aren't they bad? That's why they're so scary. Yukiko. GA looks worried. Did you go save Yukiko? Not yet. Oh, it's the transfer student. Um, well, are you used to things here yet? It might not be all that different from the city, but is there anything you don't understand? I could explain the school to you if you need me to. Is, is that okay? Please tell me. Well, well, I guess I'll show you around then. The school is pretty much divided into two sections. First, all the classrooms are in the classroom building. That's where, where we are in class 2-2. The buildings lie is simple. First years are on the first floor, second years on the second floor, and third years on the third. The library is also on the second floor. Lots of students go there to study. There's also special activities rooms, like the music room, are in the other building, the practice building. After school, people go to that building for their clubs and just to hang out. That's about it, I think. Would you like to me explain that again? Uh, no. I can keep saying this as often as you like. If you get lost, come back here and ask me again. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hey, transfer student, what's the good word? I'm still shocked something so terrible could happen to a girl here at school right after that announcer lady. What kind of monster could murder a woman? You'll never earn my forgiveness, I'll tell you that much. Hanging out with women, going on dates with them, that's fine, but killing them, not so much. Saki Senpai killer. That's not a rumor I ever expected to find out was true. It's all the more proof that discipline needs to be enforced in society. That's how incidents like this are avoided. As a class representative, I think it falls upon me to make sure my classmates understand just how important that is. That's a nice thing on the wall. Everyone keeps talking about the incident, even my family won't shut up about it. They keep telling me she went to your school, but it's not like they knew anything about Saki-san. I just end up telling them what I, they want to hear. Yeah, I don't think they would want me to just burst into some random class. What's down this way? Yeah, we've talked to you already. Calligraphy room. The main, the main, the men's bathroom. I mean, it, it's not quite. I don't know if that counts as a reflect. You know, a flushable bug. Use the time to reflect. You wonder what kind of food is in the fridge back home? Hmm. You find something unusual. Oh, rancid gravy in the in the bog. Now that's great. I'm not gonna go into the women's bathroom. I think that's a bad idea. The atmosphere inside the room seems unwelcoming to anyone who isn't on the staff. Library. Oh, um, uh, you're the second year transfer student from class two, ain't ya? Eh, uh, oh, that incident, pretty scary, huh? To think that someone was murdered a student, no less. 
If it had been my senpai, I don't know what I would have done. This is the library. You can study here efficiently. There are many facilities in the town or a school that you can utilize to raise your attributes. When these attributes reach sufficient levels, you may meet new people or become able to accept new challenges. Spend some time at the library? Sure. You decided to study at the library. Yasogami High Library. You were able to solve a difficult problem. It's like Ice Tea said go to the library and pack yourself more ammo, you know? Welcome home! Welcome back. It seems Dojima isn't home. Sneak out to the town at night? Ooh. However, you will be too tired to go out if you've explored inside the TV that day, so be careful. There's a half-eaten cup of instant ramen. You left it alone. I do have um, rotten gravy, though. <laughs> For now. I don't think there's much point coming in here during the night time. I could be wrong, of course. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well then, I shall tell you about how I can offer you my assistance. I can gather a number of personas you possess and provide you the ability to fuse them. I have suggestions for the creation of powerful personas that may be of use to you. If you want to summon a new persona that you have not registered, please try the summon persona option. However, if you register a persona in the compendium, you'll be able to uh, summon that persona by selecting the check. If you wish to know about the uh, compendium, please ask Arge. See, look at all this here. You need at least 20 PhDs to work this stuff out. I will now explain how to create new personas through fusion. There is a variety of methods to fuse personas together. A normal spread is a fusion of two personas. A triangle spread is the fusion of three. There are many persona cards that can be used as the basis for fusions and an even larger number of fusion results. The drawback is that using multiple personas in a fusion does not always result in a single persona. Do not forget this. Also, a persona is created for fusion many additional powers depending on the day it's, cre it's created. Refer to the fusion forecast to help ensure that your fusion results go as, go as you desire. If you would like a more detailed explanation, feel free to ask. Ah, oh, thank you for asking about the fusion forecast. A persona born through fusion can be granted various abilities depending on the day the fusion is born. Results and triggers vary day by day and it can be seen in the fusion forecast. But there may also be unexpected results. So I advise you please remember to check your fusions before you commit. I still don't know, really know what that means. I think the zeal is one of the um, skills that I do have.
Well then, allow me to explain how I diffuse personas via the search feature. Should you use this feature, I will tell you which personas can be created using the personas you can you currently hold. If you're unsure of your skill in fusing, fusing personas or simply wish to create strong ones, you will find the search function useful. You will. You may also heed the voices that trickle in from other worlds to find out which personas are most effective. You may learn much from such advice. Use the fusion search to see what other players are fusing. If you like to use this function, please use the voice button. I don't know what button that is, this one? Apsaras? Oh, I see. Archangel and Susif. Is there not a way to make my toilet gravy better? That's the real question here. <laughs> Doesn't really seem like it, Dark One. I mean, it just. It seems like. Mm, I would say, judging by that, most people have went for this one. But I'm not level 10. I'm only level 5, so I don't think I would even be able to do that. Hello, Illuminati. Fast. And the Furious Expert Illuminati. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. But yeah, I can't do that. A little chilly? Really? Or are you pulling my leg? Are you enjoying a nice steaming jasmine to help, uh, you know, eat yourself up a bit? <laughs> the weather has changed you. That would be too much for me, Illuminati. I wouldn't really like handle that. But some people are like that. Some people thrive in heat. I'm not one of those people. See, I don't know if I should do this yet. We'll fall back. Oh, we'll, we'll look at this. I think I kind of get it, but I don't. I don't think I really need to go in too deep on this right now. It's closed. Alright, on to the next bar. Please boss, no more. Let's go home. Shut up, that's an order. Isaac got promoted and you're going to celebrate with me at one more bar. Jesus, man. Why are you guys so lit, kid? Be careful, there's ghosts around here. He 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 he. 
Very funny old man. No, nope, just the same dog. Fished at river? I assume I would need um, some sort of rod. <laughs> Hello, Grim. I hope you're doing well. You probably missed it, Illuminati. You probably weren't there. In fact, I know you weren't there because you didn't know if it frayed streams until yesterday. But, um... I was at Fred's... Oh! I was at Fred's a few nights ago, maybe a week ago. And uh, I was saying, it, there's a thing that you can do in Near Replicant where you can go fishing. And I came up with the Games Master Challenge to, you know, catch, you know, 10 fish in two minutes or whatever. And I even uh, was able to, you know, sneak in a little Dominic uh, kind of joke. And say, will you be able to get your rod up at the right time? I thought that was quite good. So there you go. We can add that to the ideas for your uh, game show. <laughs> that is good. I'm glad you think so. Did Fred, did Fred win the golden joystick? He definitely deserves one. He's very good at that fishing malarkey. You see the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. If you had a fishing rod, you'd be able to fish here. So where do we get a fishing rod from? That's my new mission. You probably buy it from a shop when I, all the shops are closed. Does uh, Skyrim have fishing in it? Answer is hard. <laughs> I mean, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount happening right now, Grim. As of today, you can spend the night in your room. You can also work outside. Once you have a job, you'll be able to leave home to access it in the shopping district. The calendar near the door to your room has important dates listed on it, so make sure to use. So make use of it to plan your time. This month's schedule is... Show a day? What's that? Firework Festival. Oh, my finals are in July. End of school. Midterms next month. Children's Day. Dojima provided you with this shelf. I don't have anything to place on it. Not yet. Which program would you watch? I mean, the weather's clear, so the Midnight Channel shouldn't really be a thing. Let's try it anyway. Nothing to prepare. That's what I thought. There is a desk. Your knowledge may increase if you studied here. Do you want to study? Why not? You decided to study. My knowledge has increased. I wish it was that easy in real life. 
PP. Hello. Hi. I realize this is sudden, but I'm Margaret. We met at the Velvet Room the other day. Yeah. There is one important point I forgot to warn you about. So I thought it best to contact you immediately. Going to save your friends is a selfless and noble deed. By all means, we encourage and support you in regards to this matter. But to proceed too hastily in that quest will mean facing one battle after the next. Though you may be pressed for time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. Do not hasten heedlessly through your days, and remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. Please remember that. Well then, if you'll excuse me. How did you get my number? You took Margaret's advice to heart. You should think carefully about how to spend your days. Yo. Oh, what's up? You got some morning practice? You hear the two talking. You know how guys can join the sports club starting today, right? I thought that maybe if I ran around a little, that would be good. You know, some good promotion. Dude, if you run around in that, how are you going to know which... Uh, how are people going to know which club you're in? I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's classic you. I hope our club gets some fresh blood too. Gets everyone excited. Are you guys not going to try and get people to sign up? Uh, I don't know about that. Everyone's saying they want a girl to be our manager though. Oh hey, let's stop by the shrine in the shopping district on our way home today. Might as well pray for some newcomers. We're leaving that up to God now? Well, alright. Oh yeah, did you hear that rumour? About the thing that lives at the shrine? I did wonder if it's true. Oh nice Illuminati. I don't know why that's quoted, but okay. Last have ended for today. The fog will come after several days of rain. You must prepare to take after. Action, Rammer. You recall being told that you can join a sports club. Maybe you can find out how to join one by visiting the back of the office on the first floor. You'll have opportunity to meet people in town or at school. You may build social links with some of these people through your interactions with them. Time will pass as you build your social links, however your friendships will influence the result of a fused persona. If you create a persona of the same arcana as the social link you've built, that persona is granted an experience bonus after the fusion. Seek out the people with whom you can build social links. A murder? Guess I'll go straight home. Can't think of a safer place to be right now. Why don't you do that too? Did you hear? Kanishi Senpai appeared. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Sports clubs are currently recruiting new members. You can you can only join one of them though. If you want to learn more, maybe you should go to the faculty office. It's on the first floor. Don't get lost, loser. Oh, that sounds wonderful, friend. Let me just investigate the third floor just because I haven't been yet. Hey, I don't recognize you. 
Oh, you're that second year transfer student, right? I heard you come from the big city. You know, small towns have their benefits too. Students in the city say studying for college exams is stressful. But around here, most of us just find employment. I'll get a job here when I graduate too. I just can't live in a place where I'm not comfortable. He seems to be talking about the murder incident. I'm finding the rumors are running rampant inside. Ooh, who is this? Funky student? You, you're a second year, right? <laughs> Why did I assume that? Because I know the ways of the world, son. I don't know you and you're coming up. So it's 50-50, but you're a second year. Deductive reasoning like, oh, son. Now I, the OG third year, will challenge you the second year young blood with a riddle. And no, it isn't because I'm trying to avoid studying for ex entrance exams. I'm just doing you a favor here, man. If you answer correctly, I'll present you with a key. I accept your challenge. Who's the riddle master? People with requests will have an icon over their heads. Its color will change once you accept this request. Seek out this icon. Looks like your spirit is willing. Let's see if you, your mind can vibe to this. Riddle time. I'm gonna drop stuff into two distinct categories. At the end, you gotta drop the last item onto the proper category. Can you dig it? Reds group A, greys group B. White's putting it down for group A. Orange has a group B tattoo. Green's A for sheezy. Pink is, a, is group B times infinity. So which group does a black belong to, A or B, holla? Oh yeah, so tell me what all of those items have in common. Give it to me. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? One challenge a day. Don't hit the player. Hit the game. I, mean, I could like probably cheat and reload the save. Anything up here? Oh, you're from our class. Seekun, was it? Wasn't it? You came from the city, right? How nice. You know, I want to go to a university in one of the bigger cities. My parents are against it, though. But I have a dream, and my friends are going to be with me, too. I'm going to go to college no matter what. I want to be a meteorologist when I get older. Want me to give you a weather forecast? Oh. Why, thank you. I'm always right. The Weber fanatic. building maybe
I should look that up, Illuminati. Sounds interesting. These students are gossiping loudly. Did you hear another challenger has stepped up for the Amagi hurdle? Wait, how many has it been this year? Amazing how popular Amagi is, huh? Doesn't it feel like the whole world is different for her? I ain't really talk to the boys in my class at all. I know, I know. It's like you start to say something about shopping and nobody wants to listen. Even Satonaka seems to have a lot of friends. It's not like she's fun to be around or anything. So he sticks so close to Yamagi, huh? Story drum. No music yet. Science lab. Meeting room. Leave school? No. Not yet. Eh. Do you want to join a club, huh? Oh no. I know what you're really after. You're just trolling for girls, aren't you? Admit it. Listen up. A club is supposed to be. For some reason, you find yourself getting lectured. Do so you still want to join a club? Multiple clubs? Two cultural clubs at the same time? Are you trying to get the most out of your school life? We don't allow students to be in two, or two sports clubs or two cultural clubs. One of each is permitted, got it. Hmm, too bad. You enjoy cultural clubs after April the 25th. So, next week. This must be a lesson that it's not so hard to eat. It's not so easy to meet girls now, is it? So, are we done here? Trying to break a youthful sweat, are you? You can join it. Either the soccer club or the basketball club. After leaving the faculty office, make a left and go through the exit down to the hall. No problem, friend. Club days are Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Sports clubs don't meet on rainy days. So are we done here? Yeah. I'll probably end fairly soon. I know it's a bit of a shorter stream, but I started lip. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, you, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what determines your persona's abilities. Let's take a tour first. Yasogami, hi Jim. No problem, John. You watch the basketball team. Nice shot. All right, let's run some basic drills. Nice kick. Everyone, all right, line up. It's time for everyone's favorite sprints.
We'll join the basketball club. Alright guys, listen up, you have a new teammate. You all know Vody C, right? He's from the city, so mix so I'm sure he's got some moves, he's just waiting to show up. I'd say this season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. Sounds good to me. Voting is a big pain anyway. Here. Why don't you say something to the team? I'm your new captain. Hi. Just go easy on us, okay? They don't seem very enthusiastic. No. Well, you guys can take it from here. I've got to go check on the soccer team. Body, why don't you uh, just watch for today, alright? I'm taking off now. I'm still absolutely molding about the football result from last week. I, I don't think I'll be able to get over that for at least 10 years. The team practiced a little and left. Hey! What do you think of your first day here? Oh yeah, I'm Koichijo. Second year, same as you. Nice to meet you. Good to see someone else take on, take an interest in the team. Ah, <sighs> I'm beat. Who aren't you done yet? Oh, is this the new go? <laughs> Yeah, can you believe it? He's the transfer student. Hmm, that's cool. Daisuke Nagase, nice to meet you. Soccer team, second year. Who and I go way back. Yeah, too far back. I'm getting sick of seeing your face. <laughs> Did everyone take off early like usual? Yep. I suggested we work on rebounding, but they were all like, that's too tiring. So all we did was take a few shots. Hmm. I shouldn't scare everybody with my bitching on this first day. We've got a lot of members who don't show up to practice, but basketball's fun. You've played before, right? Never. No problem, I'll work you to the bone. You become friends with Kui Ichio of the basketball team and Dasuke Nagase of the soccer team. You feel a faint bond forming between the three of you. I did a thing. I did something. You have established the fellow athlete social link of the strength arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the strength arcana. Oh yeah. Do you know we practice the practice schedule we meet on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays? It's a simple sport, but if you do it right, I'll sure you'll tough toughen up. Oh, there's no practice on ready days either because the other clums clums the other clubs take over the gym. Sometimes it sucks being in such a small team. And of course, we don't practice the week before exams. Are you stuck polishing the balls again? Yeah. While they go to their parties, I've got to stay here and play with balls. I love them balls. This is my reaction exactly. <laughs> Dominic Diamond wrote this scene. Man, I want a good party too. I'll help you, let's get this done and get out of here. Be an ass and leave. I could never do that. Huh? You do that? You're a real pal, man. I think I'm tearing up. Ku is exuberant. He decided to go home after helping. Welcome home. Oh, 
High school students have club activities. The teacher told us about them today. Could I stop there? Yeah, probably. I'm a bit tired. You might be able to tell, or maybe I just sound like this all the time anyway. It's very, very possible. Um. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably just leave it there because it's not super late, but it's late-ish. It's late-esque. <laughs> And I'm just tired, and I'm always tired on a Friday. Because it's the end of the working week and all that kind of guff. Um, but yeah, let's... Um, <laughs> no problem. Um... Yeah, hopefully I'll be on at some point tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll continue playing this for for a bit. But the idea at some point is to then um, maybe not this weekend, but the next weekend, maybe do like a short little game on the Saturday and Sunday, and then go back to this on the Monday, something like that. That's the plan. Just in case you're wondering, this will be like the main game but there will be other like little short games to break it up every once in a while but yeah i'll see y'all later let's see twitch.television that's the thing isn't it but yeah I'll see y'all later have a nice evening or morning or afternoon wherever you are in the world and uh yeah see y'all later bye bye bye